Hi guys, it is Aoife from Fred Weezy Died Laughing and I'm here with a different kind of video today, one that I haven't done before and it's just going to be a favourites videos. Um, I have just been watching a few different things and just, I don't know, I just wanted to talk about things that weren't books I guess. Um, so I'm just going to go straight on into it and just talk about some of the TV shows I've been really loving the past couple of months. This is going to be kind of like a January slash February favourites and then maybe if I have enough favourites in March I will talk about them as well. Um, but yeah, these are going to be ones I've just been really loving the past couple of months. So the first thing I want to talk about is a TV show that I've been absolutely adoring. It's every week I'm just hooked to it and that is Emerald City which is kind of a new kind of retelling of The Wizard of Oz and it is spectacular. I am just loving the different twists they have the, with the wizard and the witches and the munchkin people and yeah I'm just loving everything they're doing. Um, this has loads of people of colour in it which is great. Um, we have a trans character and um, there is, I'm not sure if there is a gay character in it but I'm pretty sure there are some like bisexual characters. Um, there are characters with disabilities, just the way they are, they have just kind of weaved in like the scarecrow, the tin man and the lion and stuff like that and they've just brought in so many cool elements and I'm just absolutely adoring this show, it is so so great um, and I can't wait to see where it goes because I'm just loving it. The another um, show that I'm loving is actually, I'm only like almost finished the very last episode and um, is one on Netflix and it's one that I haven't didn't actually think I was going to like at all and that's Santa Clarita Diet and that has Drew Barrymore in it and it's just basically about this mother who ends up getting this weird virus and she turns into a zombie and it's just kind of this comedy about her family trying to deal with the fact that the mom is a zombie and they're going off and like helping her kill people and finding her people to kill so she can just like you know have an ordinary life and then things just start going crazy and hilarious and I am just really really enjoying it. It's kind of one of those ones where I went into it saying this is going to be really stupid but it's probably going to be funny stupid and it was funny stupid but yeah it's just one of those ones I just completely fell in love with and I really really liked and I love Drew Barrymore. I don't think she, I love her in pretty much everything that she's been in that I've seen her in Um, so yeah I just, I just love her personality. I think her personality really comes through in this as well and yeah I'm just really really enjoying it so let me know if you've been enjoying it as well. I watched a documentary the past couple of months as well that I really enjoyed and I don't watch a lot of documentaries I tend to just go for like the normal TV shows um, but I just came across this documentary on Netflix and it was Harry and Snowman. It's basically about this uh, show jumping horse, this old show jumping horse from the 50s and 60s called Snowman and the man um, who rescued him called Harry and Harry was, um, he was a a horse rider so he was a he was a he evented with um snowman and they kind of became quite famous for just doing really really well in the show ring and he had saved snowman from um going to basically go and become dog food he had like bought him for like really really like hardly anything um from the back of a truck and if he hadn't bought him snowman would have been dead and then snowman ended up being one of the best show jumpers in the world um and I just loved just the story about Harry and him growing up, him coming over from the Netherlands with his wife to America and them setting up their own life and um, how he found Snowman and started training Snowman and then how even like his show jumping career affected their family in a way and how his kind of career and his aspirations um, you know how it affected their children and their love of horses and their love of show jumping and stuff and I just really enjoyed it as someone who enjoys horse riding myself and um, even though I don't own a horse I don't do com competitive riding and um, I just do for leisure like a lessons every week and um, now I'd love my own horse but obviously it's just not feasible and um, but yeah I just really, really love uh, watching these kind of things I really really enjoy this and I'm definitely going to try and find more kind of documentaries like that that I can watch and for a movie that I really liked um, I recently watched The Huntsman's Win Winter's War which um, I hauled in my library hall and I watched that and I was really expecting too much of it but I really really liked it, it was really good. This is kind of like, I thought it was going to be a prequel to um, Snow White and the Huntsman but it's actually kind of like a lit quarter prequel but then three quarters a sequel to Snow White and the Huntsman um, but I really really enjoyed it, I thought it was great, I loved Jessica Chastain in it, her character is just like gold in it, I loved her, she was so kick ass, so badass. 
um, I want to move like her, like she was just absolutely amazing. Yeah, it was just a really, really pleasant surprise. I ended up really, really enjoying it. Um, a phone app that I was going to talk about today is going to be Duolingo, which is one, because I'm going to Italy um, in six weeks time now, um, I want to just kind of try and learn a little bit of Italian. Though it hasn't been going as well the past couple of weeks as it was when I first started using it um, at the end of January. Um, and yeah, so I, this is basically a phone app, it's free and you can um, kind of do like these daily like 10 to 20 minute lessons in different languages. Um, so I've just been doing a little bit of Italian, um, don't ask me to say anything right now, but yeah, I've just been enjoying doing that and um, I really need to get back onto it because I kind of like, as I've said, I slipped off doing it the past couple of weeks. Um, but it's just one that I just thought would be fun and it's something that I can kind of keep going um, even after like I go to Italy it's something and yeah, there's like loads of different languages I can like improve my Spanish improve my Irish with it as well um, and I just think it'll be really handy for people who might not want to go to like actual lessons physical lessons it might be handy for people who want to learn a language that way so as you guys have probably guessed I am not much of a makeup guru I kind of just stick to the same old things when it comes to makeup and um, I don't buy a lot of makeup every month and um, but the last few months uh, one brand I've been really enjoying is is the new look makeup um, in the store is new in the store new look and they have this like whole new makeup range and beauty range and I have just been loving it a lot um, and I've been trying to buy cruelty free makeup um, but I hadn't checked whether it's cruelty free before I bought it I just kind of bought it in a whim and then afterwards it's like oh god I didn't check um, so I have checked it and someone did get in contact with them and ask and they do say that they are cruelty free but they do sell in China which is one thing which means that they do be they, they are testing their products over in China which is a bit of a no-no so that's a bit annoying um but anyway I do have some other makeup here anyway I don't know if I'll be getting it again because of the China thing but we will see um I don't know yet but some of the stuff I've gotten I just recently got a highlighter which is here um as you can see Highlighter is something that I've only recently started to use. Um, it's not something that's like part of my daily makeup routine. I kind of forget it some days. But I don't know, it just kind of gives that nice little sheen. I don't even know if it like works properly on me. But I know, I just like knowing that I'm wearing it, if that makes sense. But yeah, so this is just their Glow Highlighter Powder. Um, and I've just recently started using this one. It's re re new, so I don't have too many opinions on it quite yet. And I got a few different lipsticks. Um, I don't know if they'll show up on camera properly. I will see I got a black lipstick I don't know if you can see that but I haven't actually worn it yet um, until when I brought it home and I just haven't been brave enough to wear it yet I don't know how to pull off black lipstick without looking like a complete goth um, so I'm gonna have to try and figure out some kind of like outfit choice that I can go with this something like kind of sleek um, and that I can pull off black lipstick but it's not right now anyway I have this kind of it's like a very dark cherry brown kind of colour um, I don't know what this one is called. This is Blackberry. So this one's Blackberry and this one's called uh, Noor. Noor. This one's Noor and then this one's Blackberry. Um, so this one's just a bit darker. As you can see it's not quite black. Very very kind of dark brown, wineish brown. Um, so I do have to, these are quite matte so they're a bit dry in the lips. Um, so I kind of need to get used to them as well. I'm kind of used to more kind of uh, wet uh, lipstick. Um, and this one is one I'm wearing at the moment, which is kind of the Violet's uh, colour. Um, and I'm wearing this one right now, as you can see. And this one's just called Violet. It's just pretty simple. And then I've worn this one in a video before, which is a liquid lipstick. And this is absolutely amazing. This does not come off. Um, I put this on for a few videos and I wash my face afterwards. And it's literally taken about two or three like scrubs of my face to get this lipstick off like this really does stay there like it's it's it dries on and it stays on um so this is one you could probably wear to like an all night party or you know I don't know do, go through the kissing test or something with it I try and get a few different colours in this one as well because it is really really good and it stays on as I said so those are just a few different things I've been loving the last couple of months. Please let me know anything that you've been enjoying um, and I would love to know and hopefully I'll be back in March for my March favourites or the end of March, sorry April for my March favourites, we will see. Um, so thanks for watching, I'll see you guys again next time.